Well, good morning, everybody. Or afternoon, I guess it's 12.10 for me in the afternoon. Today's video is a long time coming. I've been waiting to make this video, and I know I haven't made a video in a while. I kind of got out of it. Uh, it. Life has been... It's been giving me the cactus, and it's not been fun. Anyway, I'll save that for another video, because you guys might be like, holy crap. Anyway... Let's talk about what I have on screen here today. Car X Street Open World Racing has finally released for Android on December 30th, 2022. What a great New Year's Eve present, you know? If it was supported on more than like six phones, maybe. But so far, everyone I've sent the URL to, I think only like Galaxy S21 and S22, uh, like Pixel 7, and like some other super mega ultra high-end phones have actually supported this de by default on the Google Play Store. So I don't blame them for rolling it out that way. As you can see, it only has 12 reviews so far, but 50,000 downloads so far. So there's people playing it on Android. It's been out for a couple weeks for iOS, but I wanted to do a video type today that I haven't done in a very long time. And man, does this look good. This is what the graphics can max out at in game on a mobile game. This is insane. I'm definitely going to run it emulated on my computer and we'll probably do like a let's play of it because I've been waiting for this game for a very long time. It's I'm excited. Like the map is huge. There's a whole bunch of cars. It's like Need for Speed for mobile, but like a full Need for Speed game. It's not like Need for Speed, you know, the No Limit or whatever it's called. I don't know what the freaking game is called, but like the map is huge. There's a lot to do in the game. It's I'm excited for this. So I wanted to do what I haven't done in a very long time, and that's a file exploration video. Because why the heck not? I got the APK. If you want to get the APK, you can just take this URL and go over to someplace like APK Pure, and it'll download it for you if your phone does not have compatibility through the Play Store by default. Or, you know, maybe just wait it out and they'll add more stuff later on. I've already used APK Easy Tool to decompile the APK because that was going to be the fastest method to get into it. The APK in size is 1.8 gigs. It's a big APK. And granted, I can't say I'm surprised, but there's a lot to it. So original stuff for like certificates metadata it is it's got to be unity 3d yeah it's unity 3d unfortunately i don't know how to mod 64-bit unity 3d so we can't really rip this down and look into what i can do with it i stopped modding a very long time ago because i didn't want to destroy more gaming communities with some of the stuff that i was always kind of getting away with but Let's see if we can find anything at least in the assets folder of the APK. There's a consent form. Oh yeah, for like ads and stuff like that. That makes sense. That's in like a lot of stuff. Google services for desktop. Uh, no. Okay, so it's just their app spot and ad stuff. Makes sense. If you actually want to release an APK mod, and get your own um, ads shown in the game rather than theirs. You can actually edit. Uh, you can find the ad stuff and actually put in your info instead. Little known fact. Ooh, this is big. Ooh. All the assets just listed. Okay. So they have like a file detection thing and some Unity stuff. That's okay. Huh, I wonder if we can enable a debug mode through stuff. Doubt it. Let's start with the AA. Addressables link catalog. Wow, this is a big JSON file. Whoa. It's a bunch of .asset stuff. So .asset is a format or compiled uh, Unity stuff, and then Unity game. So that doesn't surprise me. Ooh, we got their cloud front. What are they hiding? 
Where's their hash key? Did they protect this well? No such key. Um, let's just do this. They did not protect this correctly. Give me one second. I'll explain why I say this isn't protected correctly in a second. I realized I don't yet have Python installed on my computer, so I can't actually run the script I wanted to run, and I'm not going to install it right now because I got crap to do today. Long story short, I have a script that will actually re I'm so rusty, I forgot to unpause the recording, and I did like 10 minutes worth of stuff. So let's just, you know, paraphrase. I had the settings open. With that URL, you can actually browse pretty much their entire asset system. And there's some stuff that's like beta 0.1 version of the game for Android and iOS. You could actually download from that URL. I don't have Python installed on my computer currently, so I can't run the script to automate the process. And there's hundreds of items that I do not want to manually download. Um, but long story short, the option is there if somebody has a Python script to do it. You can find a Python script to do it on GitHub. So there was also a random XML file that I found, not really that important. The build target stuff, nothing important, nothing important. But the bin folder proves that it also is IL to CPP. Somebody will make an APK mod of this in no time. The asset packs, there's tons of assets in here. So this is basically all the actual compiled 3D models and cars and maps and textures and all that that uh, we could basically see. You still have Asset Studio. Heck yeah. So I think if I drag and drop this to here, without even installing the game, yep, I was right. We can see... So there's textures. Wow, these textures are actually really good. Huh. So this is just textures, which not surprise. Well, no, te mesh. There we go. Uh, who knows what? Oh, that's. Who knows what it actually is? I haven't played the game yet. I want to. I haven't had the chance. Oh, they're like guardrails. It looks like or something. Uh, maybe like. Yeah, who knows? That's like a uh, buildings, something in a building. These textures are pretty cool. Oh my god, there's so much. I want to find a car. Woo! What did I just pass? Oh, trees. Let's find a car. There's a whole bunch of stuff. This is cool. This is like building outlines. There is so much cool stuff in here. It would be fun to decompile this and actually mess with it. But man, is that a whole nother... Ah, oh, road signs and stuff. That's sweet. Damn it, where's a car? What if I go really far down? Uh oh. Uh, let's try a smaller file, maybe. God damn it. Asset pack. Uh, it doesn't tell us what's really in what. So. This is all textures. Cool. Thank you. Bring this over here. File size. These are all textures until here. Mountain range. That's cool. Wow, a whole high rise. Sweet. Won't even load those meshes. That's weird. Did I just see cars? <laughs> All right, who's forklift certified? <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's a roller. Sorry. Damn it. Joke doesn't land when you don't know what the item is, does it? Uh. There's some cool stuff in these asset files. I love digging through stuff like this. Billboards, buildings, there's the street roller again. What did that say? XR pass. Hmm, wonder what that is. 
the pavilion or gazebo. This is sweet. I love digging through stuff like this. A little RV setup. That's cool. I'm glad we're actually finding some stuff of, like, somewhat use. Train cars. It's not the actual cars. The cars are what I want to find. Boats. I think they're boats. Those boats. Yeah, those look like little boats. Man, there's so many of these. Why? Give me a car, dang it. Ah, uh, crosswalks. Why do they make the crosswalk out of a 3D model? Just make it a texture. Like, you're not going to drive over that and feel the bump of the paint. What's the point in making that a 3D model? Where is a car? That's all I want to find. Mono behaviors. Nice. I'm not finding a car in here, I don't think. Ah, uh, tons of mono behaviors at the bottom. And really tiny meshes. Little street arrows and stuff. That's cool. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. It's just finding the cars is what I want to do. So I'm going to pause this and dig through. If I find anything cool, I'll uh, unpause if I remember to. But I'm going to find the cars. Found our first car, everybody. Subaru body. I could actually use this. Interesting. So at least they're actually named. That makes things easier. I wonder if I can just like cheat. So here's the Subaru Impreza different um, texture levels. That's cool. So far only one car has been found though. Um, I didn't think to go by, you know, file, uh, file name. I didn't think they would be named like Subaru WRX. Like that's a uh, kind of a surprise to be honest with you. Not seeing. Huh. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else in this one. Go by name. This one, everything is named weird. Are there any meshes in here? No. Let's see. Oh, why did my volume change by itself? Nothing. Let me find... I'll find more. I found the future truck I will call home. The garbage truck. Fire trucks? Didn't even see the fire truck. I wonder if somebody will be able to make a mod kind of like Need for Speed where you can uh, drive um, drive uh, civilian cars. I always love those mods on Need for Speed games. Those are some of my favorite mods when you can just drive a civilian vehicle. I don't know why I always like those so much, but it just... I think it was the allure of you can't drive this. And I'm like, bitch, yes I can. <laughs> But yeah, someone's definitely going to mod this. Like, I guarantee you there will be mods for this on Android by tomorrow. If I knew how to mod 64-bit or if I had, like, at least the hex codes for it, I could probably dig around and find something. I don't care, though. I want to play this legit. So, I'll get my Android emulator up and running, the uh, Windows subsystem for Android, and I'll get this installed and maybe expect a Let's Play starting sometime next year. Because I'm sure this will work with controller, especially on Windows. But I think they even did have intention of releasing it for Windows. I'm just not sure. So anyway, I got some work to do before I'm allowed to go out for New Year's Eve. I'll talk to you guys later. This was just a little dig around of the files. There's not much else in any of this other stuff that really needs to be worried about. Pretty much all the important stuff is in this asset pack, the bin folder for modding, and that's it. Not really that interesting. I don't know why this video ended up 15 minutes. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.